Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be doing a video about the new Truman boot last known as the C55 last. Now, most of my boots are built on the Truman P79 last, which is a traditional American work boot. That, that's one thing that I'd like to make a big distinction between is broadly speaking, there's two types of boots. There's work boots and then there's dress boots. There's the classic American work boot, which would be the P79 last boot, which is this one. It's more rugged, it's got a larger, more bulbous vamp, it's got a structured toe. It's just more of the traditional American work boot shape. The C55 last falls more into the dress boot category, I would say. The dress boot category that I'm talking about is like the Alden Berry last, the Alden True Balance last. Alden uses a lot of very dressy type lasts, and this is what I would say that the Truman C55 last is. You can see with this sleek, silhouette that it has going on. It's got the unstructured toe compared to the P79 last structured toe. You could more easily wear this with a blazer or a suit if you wanted to. Now this color I wouldn't wear with a suit, but I would definitely wear it with like denim and a blazer, like sort of semi-dress situations. That's the main distinction that I wanted to make was there's two types of boots. There's <laughs> work boots and dress boots. These are work boots, these are dr these are more dress boots. Part of what makes the Viber 2030 last, what makes it so popular, is just the fact that it combines both worlds. Elements of the work boot and elements of the sleek dress boot. And that's what I think that Truman was able to pull off with this C55 last. I only wore them once, I just walked around in them for a couple hours, and I gotta say, I love it, I love the shape. It's got that nice almond shaped toe, and uh, I was actually talking to my one friend on Instagram, Adam Grimm. He has an amazing Truman boot collection so far, and he is a full-on C55 last convert. In fact, he was telling me he was thinking about selling off his Trumans on the P79 last just because he loves this last so much. <laughs> so part of the reason why I wanted to do this video was just because I know that when a boot brand comes out with a new last, there's all, there's all kinds of questions about sizing. And to be honest, it trips people up a little bit and sometimes they're afraid to jump on a new last just because they're not sure of sizing. And so that's why I wanted to do this video to sort of alleviate that concern because on Truman's website, they do recommend going up a half size from your P79 last. So these on the P79 last are size eight and a half D and these on the C55 last are size nine D. And I gotta say, Truman's advice is spot on. I love the fit and the feel of these. I think by Keeping these in an eight and a half, it probably would have felt just a little little too snug. I feel like I talk about this all the time, actually. <laughs> With this structured toe box, it adds so much volume to the toe area. And so when I size up from an eight and a half to a nine in these, it ends up being too big for me. But in the dress boot model, in the C55 last, going true to size, I find it fits perfectly. It's generous without being too big. And so that's how my I like my Vibergs to fit. That's how I like my Alden Indies to fit. I like them to feel generous, not too big, but you know, not constricted either. And it's a delicate balance. And uh, I think that Truman really nailed it with this last shape. Talking about new lasts, you know, I just got those new Vibergs on the 2020 last. And I know there's just so many people asking about boot lasts and everything. And like I said, when a company comes out with a new last, it's like people want to make sure they're getting their size right. <laughs> so I'll actually read off the Truman website what he has to say, what they have to say about the C55 last. So it says, it's a narrow last with an almond shaped toe. The C55 last has a sleeker, more low profile aesthetic than our original 79 last. This was our first last developed in our Colorado factory and we did a very good job. Sizing up a half size from the Truman 79 last is recommended. And yeah, so it says that about the P79 last, it says it's our most popular and our original last. The P79 is a vintage last from the Musebeck Shoe Co. in Wisconsin. A large quantities of these lasts were acquired by Truman Boot prior to a full launch of the brand. It has a classic round toe used in the majority of our boot construction. The D standard width last is very forgiving to many foot types, and for this reason, we chose to only produce B and D and double E widths. So that's what they recommend going a, a half size up from your 79 last size. And yes, I do agree. And I'm gonna get outside. I'm gonna show some pictures of these boots next to some other boots in other brands that I wear so that hopefully that can help you out. Walking around in these, they feel great. They've got that nice sleek look about them. And I'm really happy I figured out my size on the C55 last because they offer a lot of makeups 
on the C55 last. And it's a good bit of information to know because once you know that, then you can, <laughs> then you can feel safe ordering future makeups. All right, so I'm gonna actually start out with a photo from my friend Adam Grimm. And on the right, we've got the Truman boots on the C55 last, size 10 and a half in Squirrel Rambler. And on the left, we've got the Truman boots on the P79 last, size 10. You can see the difference there. Okay, now jumping into, these are my Viberg service boots, size eight and a half on the 2030 last up against my Truman boots in Regina Horse Rump, C55 last, size nine. And just giving some, not fit pictures here, but more profile pictures. Okay, here's a fit pic. All right, so yeah, you can see they're about the same length. I wanna say even the Vibergs might even be a hair longer. Vibergs are just large boots. And we got the right boot here. Similar shape on that almond toe. I wanna say that the Truman C55 last is just a hair more trimmed up around the waist, around the silhouette um, in terms of width compared to the 2030 Viber last. So, and that's a good thing for my foot because the 2030s are already pretty generous fitting. All right, here's the heel counters. Yeah, the Vibergs I wanna say are still bigger than the Trumans even though the Trumans are up a half size. Okay, here we go. Uh, Truman boots, C55 last size nine, Alden vintage indie boots. True Balance last size eight and a half. And yeah, they're about the same length. And again, the Trumans are gonna be a little bit more pointed at the toe. So overall, I think going up a half size from your Alden True Balance last for your C55 last is gonna fit very similarly. Okay, and here we have Truman boots, C55 last size nine up against my Truman boots on the P79 last in black chamois size eight and a half. And so because the C55 lasted boots are a half size up from the black chamois, they might be a little bit longer in length. But again, because of that toe box that we got the unstructured toe box on the C55 compared to the structured toe box on the P79, the room in the toe box is gonna be about the same. All right, and here we've got Truman boots, C55 last size nine up against Thoroughgood roofer boots, size eight and a half. And the roofers do run wide, but I gotta say, yeah, the fit, the fit's just completely different between these two boots, but I'm very happy with the fit on both. The Thoroughgood roofers actually fall more into the work boot category, so they do fit larger than the C55 lasted Trumans here, which are a little bit more dressy. All right, now we have Mark Alberts in Forest Kudu, size eight and a half double E up against the Regina Horse Rumps C55 last size nine. And uh, yeah, just two completely different fits here. Mark Alberts have that structured toe, so more bulbous there. Mark Alberts also fall, again, into the work boot category, I would say, whereas, again, the C55 Trumans would fall more into the dressier boot category. Okay, here we have two pairs of Truman boots in horse rump. These ones in the more brown leather are called Tuscanello horse rump. They're size nine. These are, I believe, on the P79 last, back when Truman was making all of the boots on the P79 last. But what I will say is that this P79 last is built unstructured, so the fit is very similar. Yeah, so they're both on a size nine, so they're gonna be about the same length. The main primary difference between these two, obviously, is gonna be the difference in the toe shape. On the C55 last on the left there, it's gonna be more pointed, more almond shaped, whereas on the P79 last is gonna be more rounded. The other cool thing about the differences in the cap toes here is on the Regines, that's actually called a hidden stitch cap toe, whereas on the Tuscanellos, it's just a traditional stitch cap toe. The other big difference is gonna be the heel counters. On the Tuscanellos, you got that traditional heel counter, whereas on the Regines, you got the more decorative strip back heel counter, the new one that Truman is using. All right, and up next, we've got the C55 last up against the Grant Stone Ottawa boots in natural shell cordovan, size eight and a half. And you can see that there, they're I wanna say the Grand Stones are maybe just a hair shorter, but the width is, is the same, I would, I would say, especially in the toe box. The Truman Boots C55 last heel is a bit more generous than the Grand Stones Leo last. Uh, I love that about the Grand Stone fit. I think that's a fantastic fit. But yeah, both, both leathers made a horse, and speaking of horse, here is more horse. <laughs> Viberg Service Boots, Natural Shell Cordovan, on the 2020 last, the cantilever last, size eight and a half. And yeah, about the same length with the C55 last being a size nine. 
the 2020 Viber last. This is a new last, and it is more tapered. What I mean by that is it's more tapered, more in the midsole area or in the quarter, more in the center of the boot is what I'm talking about. As well as in the heel counter, it's just a little bit more snug back there. But aside from that, the length on these is about the same. All right, up next, we've got the Alden Berry Last Color 8 Shell Cordovan Long Wing Bluchers up against, you know what it is, the C55 Last Size 9. The, the Aldens are size 8.5. And, and yeah, about the same length, I would say. Um... The berry last is more rounded at the toe, whereas the C55 last has that more almond-shaped toe. You can see that there. But overall, pretty similar fit, I would say. Both of these are dress shoes. Got that collapsed toe. Okay, and here we go. We've got all the horse rumps together at last. These are all four of my horse rump Truman boots. Okay, so yeah, we got Regine, we got Navy, we got Color 85, and we got Tuscanello there. They're all built on Truman's unstructured toe. However, the older ones are built on the traditional P79 last. They're all size 9. They all fit great. They're all dress boots. I consider them all basically dress boots, except for the Tuscanellos. I don't really wear those as dress boots. I wear those as more everyday boots. But all the other ones, yeah, I kind of consider to be dress boots. So that's going to do it for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. I am on Instagram if you want to follow me there. My username is LV. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video.